we have seen long COVID way before we um, recognize it as long COVID. Um, I was working in virtual urgent care with uh, my colleagues in the beginning of pandemic in the spring of uh, 2020. And we were monitoring patients who um, had suspected COVID because testing was not widely available. And a lot of patients ended up staying home, not seeing their doctors. And after a typical two weeks, um, some of the patients were saying that they're still not better. They're not back to normal. We really didn't know what to tell them. At the time, the model and the care model was very different. So most of the time when patients are ill, they are told to go see your doctor. With COVID and suspected COVID, the model has shifted to don't go see your doctor, call someone, to talk about your symptoms. And if they're mild, if you're not very short of breath, if you are um, feeling comfortable at home, then stay home. You're gonna recover. You're gonna be just fine in a couple of weeks. Well, that turned out to be not the case. And we definitely have started to see those patients in the spring. By summer um, and late spring, it was very clear that there is a subset of patients. So there is, there is a small portion of patients that are still significantly bothered by the symptoms that were remaining from their battle with COVID. 